Okay, start building those wall studs. Um, you can look online and find some pictures of some framing. Like here, it shows um, here's a window, here's a door, here's the bottom plate, top plate, cap plate. We're going to draw the wall studs in. We're going to kind of save the window framing, door framing for a different video. Um, because they have other components called king studs, trimmer studs, sill plates, sill studs, all that stuff. That's a different video. Today, this one, just plain ordinary wall studs. So find a wall on your on your room that has minimal doors and windows. You happen to have a wall with none on it, awesome. If you don't, you have a window wall, it'll work, or a door wall, it'll work. Just for now, we'll kind of work around those. So I'm gonna go to a non-window door wall and begin. I'm gonna have my first stud land on this corner and land here. And according to our spacing diagrams, building codes, uh, whatever it may be, you want 16 inches on center. So the stud to stud is 16 inches. Why? Uh, one reason is for the wall paneling, sheetrock, plywood, whatever it may be, um, they come in four by eight foot sheets, four by 12 foot sheets, while this four foot span fits 16, 32, 48 inches. So that's a size that a panel will be nailed onto this stud, this stud, that one, and that one. So four studs will hold that panel up. Anyways, let's build this first wall stud. I'm going to begin by drawing a little, my stud lands on the corner and I come out and land somewhere here. It's going to be five and a quarter by 1.5 inches. Okay, there's the first wall stud. I'm gonna pull these vertical later. From here, I'm gonna go 16 inches from the left side to this left side. So 16 enter, and then 16 from here to here, and then 16 all the way down the hole. Got them all laid out, but here, the last stud lands here, not quite the end. No big deal. Let's watch. Let's build this wall. So I'm going to kind of go a little bit smart about this. I want to draw each stud. That's a lot to draw. So I'm going to kind of copy one and paste it across. So I'm going to grab my selection tool and just kind of pick just this wall stud. See what turned blue? I'm going to go copy, which would be, for me, it's control C. You guys on the apples, would be command C to copy. And then command B means paste. There it is. Okay. Um, too much came along. A bonus line. I don't want that when you erase it off. And then reselect it. Now, if I move this, I can move this. I'm going to put the left edge to left edge 16. So I'm going to go from this left corner to the left corner 16. So I'm going to grab this left corner and park it right on that spot. Park it. Now, it's still blue, it's still selected. I'm gonna go Control V to paste it again, and look, there's a new one. Oops, oh well, erase off my little spot, reselect it again, missed part of it, got it. I'm gonna go Copy, Paste, Park it, and I'm gonna move it to this next spot or over here, Zoom out, come on, zoom out, and then zoom in, control V paste, park it, control V paste, and I put all these studs down. I go control V, control V, control V. In your case, on the apples, it'd be command V, command V, all the way down the whole line. And the last one lands, oops, get out of there. Control V, parks right there, but I have one spot to go, don't I? So I want to put this last stud, I want to have it end where this wall ends. So I'm going to go Control V, paste it out here somewhere. Paste it out here somewhere. And I want to put its uh, inside right edge 
on this corner. So I'm going to move this from the inside right edge to that corner. Now it's a matter of taking each stud and going from plate to plate. So I get one of these in, then I'll show you the next step, plate to plate. What happens is, see here, the stud and the plate, the seam is still there, but here the seam vanished. So I have to redraw in this little seam and then the next one. Then I go plate to plate, and then guess what? Same step everywhere. Draw back in my seam all the way down. So finish the wall out. There's framing a non-door, non-window wall.